That would be one tip I'd probably give people for drama school auditions, try not to be sick. <laughs>
is the correct level of laughter to give to a joke given by a close friend when the joke is not funny? I know with my friends, if they, if the closeness gets to a point where if they make a bad joke, I will just tell them straight up. Ah, right, see this is a good it's point. It's a bad joke. Let's change this, this is a fair point, I missed out on this thing. They're in a group of other people who are not close friends. Like it's you, close friend, and four or five people you kind of know. They tell a joke, it ain't oh, funny. <laughs> what, right. is the, what is the correct level of laughter? I'll tell you what I ask, Peter. I'll tell I was going to say, ask. how many times have you been in this situation? I'm always the guy. First of all, yes, I tell jokes people to laugh at, but it's more to do with I have friends that tell bad jokes. I overly laugh, and then I'm the one that looks stupid. Someone's like, why are you laughing at that rubbish joke? I think I might just be over egging it, you know? My thing usually is to laugh a bit and then try and follow up with something. I hear that advice and I follow it, but then I end up saying something as unfunny and then they don't laugh. <laughs> Get new friends. Is this one going wrong? Yeah. <laughs> so this I'm is... not going to name you, but if you're watching, you know who you are. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> I always think another good one, and this is something that people have done to me before and I kind of appreciate this, is to laugh in a way that tells you that they're fake laughing. So you go like, <laughs> Go practice your face right down camera, let's see how good it is. You've got to make it a uh, Johnny, I'm laughing because you're with people you don't know, but I want you to know that wasn't worthy of a laugh. Oh, so the, the camera's Johnny. Right yeah, now. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is it. I would know. I'd know. I need you around me at all times now because you can be there. Whereas Lucy will just go, that wasn't funny. I'll give you an example of what I mean. I told Lucy this joke, can't remember what it was, but Lucy had laughed hysterically at this joke. I was like, this joke is a winner. And then about three days later, we were having uh, Christmas lunch with like about 15 of her friends. I told this joke and nobody laughed. I mean, at all, I was like, am I right? Not even Lucy, because think about Lucy, because she's so honest. She's like, well, the second time is not funny anymore because I've already heard it. So it was just silent, so just everyone kind of stared at me. And I thought, why is there no one in this room who does that thing that I do? But I would have gone, <laughs> What about when you laugh and if you're only half listening and it's not actually a joke? Yeah, that is quite a bad one. That's the classic British thing to do. If someone said something and you don't understand, you ask them, and then you ask again, mm. and you don't understand the third time, what do you do then? You go, oh, the British yeah. response is just to go, <laughs> just hope. <laughs> they, they, could have been, they could have been saying anything. They could have been telling you the worst things ever happened to them. So the advice you give me is not to do with the level of laughter. It's laugh to let them know that you care about them. Yeah. But not enough that they think it's real. It's like a laugh and then a quick move on to something else. See, that's actually genuinely quite good advice that I'm probably going to follow. Yeah. I don't like the socks. <laughs> I'm going to keep them all. So I had a job interview tomorrow morning and I went to said job interview and I felt an illness relating to your barbecue. What should I do in that situation if I can feel it getting progressively worse? Okay, here's the fact, right? <laughs> First of all, if you have got a job interview tomorrow, that could happen. Second of all, what I'd like to say is, you should say, it's all about to go horribly wrong, I'm gonna have to leave. The better way of saying that is just to go, sorry, can you excuse me for one minute? But we all know that we're not gonna do that, because that's just not how we do it. So what you've got to do is you've got to try and just get through it by making noises that you can somehow <laughs> make it look like you're still interested in what they say. So they're like, the job pays this much. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, chicken legs the one that makes me the most nervous. I'm a bit skeptical about that one. Uh, that's fine. That's just dark meat. It is dark, yeah. <laughs> Let's just quickly recap. We found a bird, it's probably alive, but we're worried about it. We should have 25 pairs of socks, not 50. Not 50. You should laugh enough that the person knows that you care about them, but not so much they think they're bless you, their joke is funny. <laughs> You're gonna get the tattoo Johnny written on your foot, like or Jonathan. Andy, or Jonathan Vickers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the biggest now, it's the surname. Oh yeah, we talked about that too. Take control, but except you probably won't and you'll probably poo yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and then you just do a dignified sort of like waddle out. I mean, what else could you want from a video? Johnny barbecuing, talking waddle. rubbish. What? What? After you pooed A pooey waddle? The crappy nappy strap. If there is not a university <laughs> band called that, I, I don't want to live in this country anymore. Peter, food out of ten. Don't spare um, my feelings. Solid, solid eight. I was going for a seven. Yeah. That's how I said everything for this week. Thank you as always for tuning in this week in the silver. We want to know if you agree with our answers to the questions that we talked about. Keep your book recommendations and silly questions coming in. And as always, put your comments, ramblings, and musings in the syllabub. Thank you for having me. You all know who this is, Peter Bucknell, aka Peach Jams. Check him out on YouTube. This is Lucy. She hasn't got an egg channel yet, but it'll come at some point. We all know. Love you. Bye. It isn't time to go. I think you have time for one more video. Cha-cha-cha. <laughs>